it just seems like you were caught off guard by by trends, I guess, that many experts had seen coming a, a mile away. So Minister Lecce, if you could answer clearly, why did you write a letter less than 24 hours ago, essentially saying the opposite of what your government is announcing today? I think actually what we put in the letter was a plan, a communicated a plan for following the April break for it to be safe. We communicated accelerated access to vaccines for special education workers and education workers in hotspots. We communicated a plan that spoke about uh, expanded access to asymptomatic testing to over 180 assessment centers. And we talked about a plan to urging families at home to remain vigilant given the real risks of this third wave. Uh, obviously, our intention all along has been for kids to return to safely learn in schools. That's been our longstanding commitment. Uh, however, uh, based on discussions we had with Dr. Williams um, and the medical teams over the past hours, needing to act quickly and decisively during COVID-19, uh, we've made this decision, as difficult as it is, with one aim, which is to lower these community rates to get our kids back. And that's why we've uh, made the decision point today, keeping in mind that very strong protocols, including a state home order, remain in effect in this province because we want to really tackle the root cause of this, which is community transmission that is impacting uh, potentially impacting the safety of schools. So uh, appreciate that we're, we're moving quick. I think COVID-19 requires us to be decisive and move at COVID speed, as the Premier has said before. Uh, and we're just going to continue to do what's right. And I know this is challenging for parents. Uh, we've announced some financial support for parents, uh, our support for families program, $400 per child. Uh, we've announced uh, improvements to technology, to tablets, to internet connection for families in need. And we've expanded our online learning program precisely for these tough, regrettable circumstances where we have to make this pivot. Uh, and so our province is better off for those investments. And we're going to continue to follow the advice of the chief medical officer felt to keep families safe and keep these community cases down.